The internet changed the way we shop for clothing, music, and even homes. But for every great deal online, there is something meant to do us harm on the next page or so. So, NBC6 reporter Paul Sweezy explains to us why we need to be careful when we go house hunting over the web. When something looks too good to be true, you can bet it probably is. Clothing's listed for $900 a month, which is a heck of a deal in South Highlands. This house on Ockley Street in Shreveport is up for sale, but the realtor in charge of the property, Bear Trance, was surprised when he started getting calls from people who wanted to rent it. They told him they'd found the listing on Craigslist. It didn't take him long to figure out what had happened. His property was part of an internet scam. You know, all I have to do is set up a separate email and set up a separate Craigslist account and do it. And, uh, you know, once they get people that just don't know what's going on, uh, they, they leech onto them and try to suck them for all they can. It's something he's seen dozens of times before. Scammers from Nigeria find American property listings online. Then they use the white pages to find the homeowners' names. They make an email address and Craigslist account, then offer a great deal. You just pay the deposit to get the keys. You never want to send money over the internet for obvious reasons. You give somebody's bank account, your bank account, routing number and so on and so forth on the off the internet, it's only bad things can happen. Many have fallen for this kind of scheme, but you don't have to be the next victim. Warning signs to look out for? The lister says they're on a mission trip or there's an international number with the country code 234. Bear puts his own properties on Craigslist all the time. He wants renters to keep their heads up while they search for their next home. I, I normally just tell people to look on Craigslist, but I warn them and say, hey, look, there's people out there to get you. Paul Sweezy, NBC6 News. Now, Bear reported that listing to Craigslist, and it removed it from the site. But this kind of scheme is becoming more and more common, so be aware next time you look for property online.